Hey, what's going on YouTube? And today we're going to be talking about the dark matter grind and just how it has become basically impossible unless you're going to be putting in a ton of hours. I mean, a ton. I mean, the camel grinds, are, I mean, they still take a while and they sh I guess they should, but this game just seems like they've just made it more difficult than it really needs to be. And that many factors play into this. I mean, we can go from, you know, just weapon leveling, weapon balancing, just how, you know, the maps flow, and just, you know, all these external factors that, you know, just have made this more of a chore than, like, anything fun. Because, like, we'll start with, you know, like, uh, like, weapon balancing. So right now, we're just completely just seeing, you know, this game overrun by the MP5. I mean, that's nothing new to anybody that's been playing, you know, since launch. Or even, like, the beta. Um, but the problem is, is that, I mean, it's damage range. I mean, it's just too effective, you know. Like, it outclasses even, you know, like, assault rifles at, like, medium range. And an SMG, I just don't think, should be able to do that. I mean, I'm guilty. I've been, you know using it as well and I almost actually have a gold but you know I just it's just I feel like it's just too easy to use and I mean I think they know they've addressed this that you know eventually that you know, they'll have patches coming out you know to fix the quality of life and I know I've seen multiple people say this but I just don't know how after all the play testing we've done you know, why it's still, you know, broken. Because, unfortunately, people like me who like, you know, grinding for the camos every year, you're forced to basically use the MP5 every game. Or, not. I wouldn't say every game, but if you want to win gunfights, I mean, it's going to be, you know, your go-to gun. Because the other SMGs, even though they're decent... They just, they can't match, you know, the power that the MP5 has. And right now, I just feel, you know, my enthusiasm for grinding out some of these weapons just fading. Just due to, you know, the parity. Well, actually, I guess there is no parity of weapon variety in this game. Because everybody is either going to be using the M16, the MP5, I mean... At least the assault rifles vary a little bit more. That's because I think they're in a decent spot. But trying to grind like the SMGs has just become an absolute chore. And, well, I guess that kind of leads me into weapon leveling a little bit too. Because, you know, it just takes forever. I mean, I could be playing two to three games and maybe getting up maybe five levels. Like, it's going to take hours upon hours to get a gun to level 50. And I honestly feel like the 10 creative, you know, class slots are kind of worthless because a majority of people have only been focusing on one gun. And the game's been out, you know, I guess, since Thursday night. And I think a majority of people maybe have four guns gold at the most. And, I mean, that's just due to a really weird decision just to make, you know, weapons take forever. And I guess they want to introduce, like, a grinding factor into the game, I guess, more so than other games. And I don't know why the decision-making... Well, actually, I don't know what the decision-making was for that process, because... I feel like a lot of people, I mean, besides, you know, people who do YouTube for a living, you know... Um, you know, we're going to have a lot of time to do this, but a majority of their fan base, you know, it's just casual. You know, they'll hop on for an hour or two, get a few games in, but, you know, it they're not going to get any progress done in that time. And we are going to be, like, when you're using a stock weapon, granted, you know, the MP5 stock is still pretty good. And, like, XM4 is pretty good stock, too, as well, M16. But I've already mentioned, you know, those weapons still outclass everything. But, I mean, you're just going to get outgunned every game, and it's just going to be frustrating because, you know, you want to play the game, and you want to try out different weapons. But, you know, as of right now, the game just won't let you because everybody and their mom is running around with, you know, the MP5. And, and until we see a bit of a weapon nerf on that, you know, 
nobody's going to use anything else. And so, I mean, I, I keep rotating weapons, and so I'll get a weapon to about, I don't know, level 10, which honestly takes maybe four to five matches, depending on, I guess, how many kills you get that game. Um, but... I mean, that's not to say that I'm not getting a lot of kills per game. You know, I'm averaging close to 30, you know, eliminations per game. It's just, you know, it's just so slow. And I didn't expect, you know, when... Well, I guess I knew there would be a bit of a grind, but I didn't expect when I started this game, you know, to be, you know, forcing myself to have to use all these weapons. But now I think I'm just going to take a step back, you know, just focus on leveling, maybe getting a few guns gold, and then just... You know, still using the MP5 and, you know, just these guns that, you know, are dominating multiplayer until there's a weapon patch because I just seem, slowly see my KD slipping and, you know, it's just irritating. And that also leads me into SBM a little bit too because skill based matchmaking to me seems very prominent in this game. Like, I, well, I don't think I see lobbies disbanding as much as they did in Modern Warfare. But, I mean, you have a couple good games in this game, and next thing you know, you're going to be playing, like, a full party of six. And that just completely hinders any progress you're trying to make on grinding camos, because, you know, I'm probably, probably a lot of people don't care about, you know, getting Dark Matter, and I don't think it looks tremendous in this game, honestly. I think Gold and Diamond look pretty good, but I don't think Dark Matter itself. I mean, it's the only animated camel that we have. Maybe we'll see, uh, you know, a patch or like a update that will animate, you know, camos. Because I love the reactive camos in uh, BO4. And I don't know. It just. Because, I mean, majority of these players are just running the MP5. So, you know, you just got everybody just jumping around corners, just drop shot and using MP5. And, you know, I just don't understand why SBM has to be so potent. Because you know, everybody doesn't want to be playing, like, some MLG game every other game. You know, I might, like, I don't play this competitively or for a living as of now. So, you know, I'm in, like, the bit of the casual fan base where, you know, I just want to hop in, get a couple games done, get something recorded for a video... But unfortunately, I can't do that in this game. I literally have to, you know, join the masses and just use the gun that's good right now. And so my progress is just halted. Um, I don't know. I, eventually, we'll see these quality of life changes that, you know, will, I think, hopefully improve this process. But, you know, until then, I just, I don't know. It's just, I may not just go for it. It may be you know, a good halfway through this game's life cycle before I finally decide to unlock it, you know, and I'm sure there's other people that feel this way. Oh, and I guess another thing I just, you know, just thought of is that the map design, even though I think it still has, you know, that three lanes fill, there's just too many head glitches. And so you're running around, say with, you know, like an SMG and next thing you know, you know I mean, you don't have the damage range to shoot at somebody that's just camping on a ledge or behind a ledge or whatever. Like the map flow just, it just doesn't play well. And it, it's unusual for a Treyarch game to me anyway, because I definitely prefer their map layout over like any other developer for Call of Duty. Like, Modern Warfare, like, I mean, I like some of the maps, but to be honest, a lot of the maps were just horrible and promoted camping, you know, religiously. And, and we're seeing that a little bit with this game, but not as bad. But uh, the flow, even, even though it is a traditional three lanes map, it just doesn't have that same feel. I don't know. I digress. I just think, you know, there needs to be some changes in it just to make the camo easier to obtain. I get, you know, it's supposed to be the ending camo, but to me, it just, it's just too much of a chore. And unless you're putting in, you know, the nine to 10 hours a day playing this game, which, you know, for any normal person that's not doing this for a living is just too much. 
and you know i feel like you know it's just going to turn people off from even attempting to branch out and we're i don't know we're just not going to see much parody uh, i don't know i'm just rambling